perfect size pan for this huge fish. Yeah. Okay, man, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, looking good, man. Right. That's freaking good. How about that recipe? That's damn good. Pretty legit. Alright you guys, what's up? I'm Life Fishing here. I can't be super loud because it's really early in the morning. I'm about to go to work, but we guys caught so many fish last night. It was awesome. I, I We saw one of the craziest snook bites I've ever seen. It's the spring mullet run down here in the Keys and the fish were popping off, guys. We were sight fishing monster snook. I lost my personal best snook and my buddy did as well. We both lost 38 plus inch snook. And we ended up, I ended up catching the biggest slot snook I've ever seen. And it was a perfect slot, 30 and a half right here. Tequila's ready for him. Super fat, healthy, big snook right there on the circle hook with a big old hog leg mullet. Look at that thing, guys. Absolute fat fish. So what we're going to do here today, guys, is play this guy up. And then we're going to cook him up. Nice big old slotty right there. Ooh. Tasty, tasty, tasty snook nuggets. Slot snook play right there. How you doing? I don't like fishing here. All right, so you saw us catch the snook. We saw him catch the snook. I call the snook. But it's fine. <laughs> we're eating it now. So we're gonna do the catch, clean, clean and cook. So, <laughs> yep. Now I'm gonna cook the snook. All right, let's do yeah, it. So what we do is you get a little bit of quarter stick of butter right here, guys. All right, quarter stick of butter, and we're gonna make it so it's talking to us a little bit here. We're gonna make it sizzle. Get some uh, garlic. Got our snook right here. Check it out. Got our slot snook right here, you guys. So Big fillets right there. Ton man. of meat. Guys, back in the old days, man, they used to call these soap fish. If you leave any skin on these fish, it makes them taste like soap. Yeah. So a lot of people never used to eat them because they thought they were terrible until some genius took the freaking skin off. Man. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you guys one thing right now. This is the only slot snook that we will kill this year. Yep. One a year, guys. Yep, okay? one a year. And we're going to show it. you how to cook it. All right, so we get that butter talking to us a little bit there, all right? And then we're gonna get this uh, garlic. This is like four cloves of garlic. And what we're gonna do is get that garlic in there. And we're gonna heat this up just a little bit, saute it just a little bit. And then we're gonna baste the snook with it. Man, that's just so yeah, yeah, I kind of wish you guys could smell that. Yeah, yeah only, just just that by itself smells like crazy good. So what I like to do here, guys, a little secret here again, we're gonna go with the Everglades seasoning, the Everglades yeah. cactus dust, okay? And what I like to do is put just a little bit of this dust on this, I like to call it like a marinade for the snook. Yep. All right. You hear it, right? Oh yeah. You hear it? Oh yeah, cooking. That is hot. So we're gonna saute that garlic for just a few minutes. Good. All right, you guys, so once you get that garlic mm -hmm. toasted up, get another quarter stick of butter. Yeah, I know it's not like the most diet friendly menu here. <laughs> anyway, and then you're just gonna kind of make that. So what you want, you want that toasted garlic and that butter, all right? You have a little bit of that seasoning that we put in there. The garlic pieces are nice and soft now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this fish 
in the oven at like 450 for about 20 minutes, okay? As you see, it's pretty big fillets here, right? Yeah. And they're so freaking beautiful that I don't want to cut them up and put them on a skillet. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and bake them, and they're going to be awesome. See oh, you yeah. in a second. All right, you guys, and at, if you've been watching me for any time at all, you know I love coconut oil because it's super healthy and it adds an amazing flavor. So we have our butter and garlic now, right? Melted, garlic's all done. Coconut oil will melt real quick, so we put that in at the end, okay? So we're gonna put basically a, just a kind of a heaping tablespoon of coconut oil, and that is going to be the base for our snook. That's gonna melt down, and we're gonna cover that snook. I'll show you guys that in a second. We're gonna do now is we're going to get the snook and we're gonna put it in our pan. Perfect size pan for this huge fish. Yeah, no joke. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just kinda of like cover them with that amazing sauce that we created. By the way, you guys, I gotta give props to my buddy Phil Reyes. Oh yeah. He uh he uh basically so we got our snook here, we got it basted in the we got the butter coconut oil and garlic, okay? Now what we're gonna do is last touch here. These are these are the seasonings we're gonna go with, okay? Pretty much any blackened fish seasoning, all right? A little bit of Old Bay, old school right there. Oh, yeah. Of course our coconut oil we have. And of course, Everglades cactus dust. Yeah, man, favorite the, right the cactus there. dust, you guys, legit. That's all right, key. so we're gonna just put a little bit more of that dust on here, all right? Not too much, because we really wanna taste this fish. Mm -hmm. Once a year, man, we're gonna harvest a snook once yeah, a year. We should make a tradition and make that so, video every year. Yeah, man. All right, so we got a little bit of Old Bay. Okay, I already put a little bit of this stuff on the other side, guys. Okay, and then a tiny bit of the blackened fish seasoning. And then check this out. You see how I put look too much right there? This is what I do. Just spread it. Yep, spread it on. Because you're gonna spread it anyway. I like to get it in that meat really good. So just in case you. Dump too much on one part, just spread it out, man. All right? All right, you guys, so almost the end. So what we like to do here is, we do this with our trout too, okay? If we're gonna bake the trout, I like to put the lemons, just cut the lemons, get, get the seeds out if you can, and just put those lemons right on top of that fish. As the fish bakes, the lemon juice will permeate the meat. And I mean, man, once you have it like this, Crazy. Baked fish, you're not gonna want to not do it again. Yeah, it's crazy. So anyway, next time you make it for someone, be like, yeah, Ed and Brandon told me about that island life fishing. Check them out. Oh yeah. All right, you guys. So check it out. We're gonna put this in the oven. 20 minutes. I'll see you. Yep. All right, you guys. So we're gonna see how our snook is looking. It's been 20 minutes at 450. <sighs> looking fire, guys. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, looking good. Man. All right, let's see. It look. It should be ready. Got it? Yep. Look at that. That is looking good. Looking good. Thanks, bro. Look at that, you guys. Two beautiful fillets of snook. And let me show you about this, this lemon. This lemon trick right here. Okay? So what you do is you get a fork. That lemon is seeping into that fish right now. So all you do is you just push down and all that juice goes on to those fillets. Lemon, garlic, butter, and coconut oil as a sauce for the snook. We're gonna take this out and take a bite and let you know how it is. Our snook perfectly cooked, mm. 20 minutes at 450 guys, all right? And this is really thick fillets of fish here. So let's see if we can, uh, oh yeah, you see how it's just flaking off, you guys? Breaking up. Yeah, you can't even keep this thing together. Coming on over, look at that, that beautiful is looking fillet. good. This is one fillet, guys. Yeah, this is just one fillet. These fish are monsters, man. All right, well, let's go ahead and give it a try here, boys. What do you say? Yeah, man. Let me cool up before yeah. I burn the skin off my tongue. It's far here. That looks so good, bro. Oh my god, it's like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's like doesn't even have like consistency. It's like so flaky. Yeah, it's insane, dude. It's gonna be hyping careful. Yeah, it is like no joke, for real, for real. 
All right, you guys, so we got brand first piece of snook ever eating. What Dude, do you think? That's freaking good. How about that recipe? That's damn good. Pretty legit. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what you think, boys. No joke, bro. We got stuff is good awesome, stuff. Bro. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, all right. Amazing. All right, you guys, man. So that's the cook portion of the catch, clean, and cook for the snook. Thank you to Brandon for catching and cleaning. Yeah. And you're welcome for showing you how to cook it. All right, you guys. See you next time.